Hey, what it do, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Q, and welcome back to the Content Creator Corner. Look, we gotta have a very serious, fair, and honest conversation real quick. Been seeing a lot of stuff going around, a lot of talks, people worrying about what other people are doing, how they're doing it. Look, the only competition that you should have when it comes to your craft and growing in this industry is with yourself. Let's talk about it. So first, look, first off, I just wanted to say, I know we've been long overdue for another episode of the Content Creator Corner. Thank you to everybody who's been subscribing, who's been keeping up with your boy over on our Mixer, which we're going to leave that link in the description below. We have been on our partner push over on Mixer, so thank you to everybody who's been coming out and supporting. Also, of course, you can keep up with your boy on pretty much every social media at Yo Boy Q. We will also leave those down in the description below. But look, back to our conversation that we really need to have. Um, I originally thought about recording this episode about a week and a half, two weeks ago. If we're being very fair and honest, I wanted to postpone it a little bit. I didn't want people to think that it was anything personal or anything related to some of the stuff that people have been coming to me and asking me about with some stuff that we've had going on in some of the community that I work with as far as in the Mixer side of things. But I keep seeing things as far as inflated numbers on Mixer right now, especially at night and some titles and some people who don't normally have those inflated numbers. Of course, we've been seeing a lot of stuff going on over on Twitch with the inflated viewer numbers going on for the last about month or so with people trying to get their Valorant keys. And of course, you've always got the people as far as smaller content creators talking about why these platforms aren't worried about helping smaller content creators grow. But we got to be like, we just have to really break it down. First off, when it comes to, I know in the past we've talked about in you know previous episodes about having a white rabbit talking about you know finding people who have found success in this industry and trying to mimic what they do in order to grow your own content and your own brand but i don't want that to be confused with seeing other people whether they stream the same games they stream on the same network or they put their content on the same platform as you and thinking that you have to compete with them at the end of the day we have to realize look there's that whole saying out there it takes ten thousand hours in order to master a craft I'm not going to say that you're going to have to put that much time in in order to see success. But what I am going to say is you've, you've really got to work on yourself first, right? Everyone grows at different rates like we've talked about before on this channel. But I think it's important to remember that we've really solely got to focus on ourselves and what we're doing to grow versus what other people are doing in order to see success or a success, right? It's very easy to look at what other people are doing and get caught up inside that head, which is really the most dangerous place to be when it comes to a content creator. Because essentially, when you're looking at other people and trying to call them out for fake success, right, you're really just subliminally giving yourself an out as to why your channel is not growing and why your content isn't getting better and why you're not seeing the growth that you want to see. You've got to remember when it comes to growth in this industry, it's never going to be consistent, right? One week you might have 200, 300, 400 viewers in your chat at any given time or a whole bunch of views on a particular video. And the next video that you drop on YouTube or your next week, week and a half of streams, you just might not see the same numbers. And that's okay. If I can be perfectly honest with you from somebody who in the last couple months has seen both a very high viewer count with less chat interaction, and somebody who has also had, let's say, anywhere between 60 and 120 viewers in their channel and having a massive amount of chat activity, I can tell you personally that I would rather have the latter. It's best to focus on building your community than focus on just solely growing your numbers. At the end of the day, no one's going to be able to accomplish what they want to accomplish solely by themselves. You have to have the support of your community. And your community is going to be those core members, the people who come in, maybe not daily, maybe it is daily, but the people who come back on the regular, they support your videos, they share your content. Those are going to be the people that really help you continue to see the success and the momentum that you're seeing. So don't worry so much on the small things as far as, oh, the amount of followers I've gotten a particular week or how many people I've had stopped by my channel in a particular week. I think the best thing to really truly focus on is building that community. And that community has to be owned by you, which means the biggest thing you have to be focusing on, going back to the main point, 
is your biggest competition is yourself. Stop worrying about what everyone else is doing. Don't worry about chasing down that white rabbit that's maybe streaming in the same platform, streaming the same game title, or posting their content in the same places as you. Just worry about constantly evolving and developing that content that you're creating. Again, when you're taking time away from what you're doing and focusing on what other people are doing, do you really think that that's being productive? Do you really think that that's allowing you to continue to develop your brand and continue to build on your success? It's really not, right? So do yourself a favor. At this point, especially if you've been following along with the channel, you'd have been developing your brand and you've got yourself a little bit of momentum going, let's continue focusing on how we can grow instead of focusing on what everyone else is doing that might be, in your eyes, deterring from your success. It's going to happen. At the end of the day, the cream is always going to rise to the top. And if you really do pe think that people are cheating the system and you notice that a whole bunch of people are talking about it, do you really think the platforms aren't going to see it? Let's be real, right? So again, you're just wasting your time. Let's keep that laser sharp focus. Let's keep pushing and striving towards achieving our own goals and realize that we're taking this one day at a time. I know we've said it before and it sounds kind of corny, but it really is true. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So to go along with that, let's make sure that we're not just hitting the go live button, doing our stream time, getting offline, posting a little bit on social media and expecting to see growth. Push yourself outside of that comfort zone. Start creating more content, sharing it across more platforms, and doing things that are going to help you grow your brand. I wanted to keep this one short. I know we've got a lot of people out there that are really investing their time into their grind, putting that nose down to the grindstone, and working towards achieving those goals. So let's go ahead and get right back to that. If you could do me a huge favor, though, if you felt like you were able to take something away from this couple minutes of your time that I borrowed, if you could share this on your social medias, Hit that like and subscribe button down below and let me know some things that you would like me to discuss in some upcoming videos. If you're ever looking for some live feedback or some interactions on some thoughts that you have, remember that we do stream over on Mixer five, six, sometimes seven days a week starting at 6 a.m. Eastern time. I'll leave again that link is going to be down in the description below and you can always hit me up on any of my social medias which are also down in the description below as well. All right. Until next time. I hope you guys have yourself a fantastic rest of your day, rest of your grind week, and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.